Oh. Hello. Look at the stats. I haven't looked at the season stats in a minute. I have 500 passing yards. I'm a freaking beast. Mmm. Ah, what a good smoothie. Hello, Mark. Look at this elite passing. We have 900 yards total. 50% completion percentage. 11 interceptions and 5 touchdowns. Call elite. Mr. Bowie, 4.7 yards carry, 109 yards. Could have Wolf got all that in one game. Wolf turns the ball over a lot, doesn't he? Rittenhauer, oh man. How many drops is that? Nine drops out of all the incomplete passes. Lots of sacks given up. All right, our office lot on fire. <coughs> Mr. Scott with four sacks. I feel like I didn't got a sack in a minute. We got some guys getting sacks out there. Got some picks, too, you know. Williamson and Williams, tackles for loss. That's the first time I looked at the stats this year. It was pretty saddening. At USF, here we go. Not even changing our uniforms. Our guys do not deserve alternate uniforms. They must wear the same thing every week. Last week I gave them black pants and they soiled that. Against VMI I gave them uh, alternates all black I think or orange uh, against yeah VMI. And uh, that didn't work out either. All right, USF is two and seven. Our defense has been good yardage wise, but dang, we're like last and everything <laughs> on offense. Hmm. Let's get this dub, boys. Playing at the Buccaneer Stadium. I can never tell. Always fails. What you're telling me. Yeah, it's definitely the Buccaneers part. Shit. All right, boys. Here we go, Bowie. Nine yards. First down. The defense snuffed out the option play pretty well there. Yeah, but they didn't do it quickly enough. The quarterback decided to keep this one himself, and the hole was just big enough that he was able to get the first down. Oh. And I get deflected. <coughs> 
37 yard line. Second down. Now he's scrambling under pressure, and the ball bounces out of bounds. Mm. Man. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. We're risking it for the biscuit, boys. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. It's great when the there we go. comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. I got a wild, I got a wild berry smooth bananas. So I got like strawberries, blueberries, all that, all that good stuff. With some vanilla, and yeah, I don't know I'm pretty much a chef. Oh, that should be a touchdown, bro. <gasps> Pick up that block. Get in there, Bowie. Run. Touchdown, baby. <coughs> Yo, Odom. I had terrible news today. Christian McCaffrey is hurt with a high ankle sprain. He is the heart of both of my fantasy teams, so you can basically say I'm done. Oh no. Tackle him, please. Oh man, they out here five widen me. Okay, defense, play a little better than last time. Good. <laughs> Blake Barnett, the former Alabama quarterback. Let's just go ahead and turn her off. Okay, let's play some man. Let's see what happens here. From their own -yard line. How awful can the man defense be? It can't be that bad, right? Screen sacked. And they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Get down to the running back. I don't know what he's doing. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's under some heat. 
There we go. Thanks, Kirk. Thanks, man. Let's see how much of a setup play this is. I mean, come on. Am I really gonna bust this for a freaking? I highly doubt it. Setup play for one yard. Yeah, let's go. Thanks, EA. <laughs> flip the play. Flip the play. Give us some room to run. I'm not a nerd. That guy didn't even get blocked. You're a nerd, Emily. Can't do anything. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Loops to punt. Sanders. Uh oh. He's at midfield. Man, their special teams are gashing us. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. He throws it. He's taken wide open down the middle of the field. I'm out here. Nice run there. Shouldn't have been five yards. I'll do the same thing. Oh man. That guy picks me up every time. I think every team in American Conference does no huddle. They're asking me to return this back. Oh, what the? 27. There's we go. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's taken down around 
the 35-yard line. Oh my god, that's not that play to work. Huh. I need some blocking uh, receivers before I do that. Run Wolf. That's how you run a triple option, Mark. I want to run the triple option so bad, but I know I'm going to fail and not read it right, so I'll have to practice that in the offseason. God dang, dude, I have like two seconds? My lord. That, oh my god, they didn't even put his hands on him. <laughs> like right when I hit X, I got sacked. Oh my god, that dude zoomed from freaking outer space and got to that. Look at this guy, man. I should have waited a little longer. All right, we want to tackle returners today. I'm there. Wait. Oh, he just trucked my guy and kept running. How about the read option? Okay, we got two guys there. He should not move. <laughs> Sack him. 
There you go, Scott. Where's the user at, man? That was all me. Is this guy about to hit this? I'm gonna do a fake. It's about to say, man. Alright, we gotta stop messing around. We're gonna ground this ball into the dirt. We can't throw the ball. Everything bad happens when we throw. That's why I went to the sideline. Heartening. That's disheartening, I mean. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they make the stop, the 39 yard line. <clears throat> I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 39 yard line, second down. Tackle, no, I have to grow up. Oh. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Halfback draw for 10 yards, dude. That's why we don't go to dime. We are stuck here. We are stuck in dime.
Can't get off the block. He gets to about the 27 yard line. Never go to dime again. <coughs> Never go to dime again. This will be a fumble, bro. I just smacked his rib cage. Take that, Barnett. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Man. In the gun with five wide receiver. Tackle him. Okay. Hey guys, block. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. He's pushed out of bounds. There we go. There we go. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possession. We can at least get a field goal here. They have three man down. I'm about to no huddle this. I'm about to no huddle them. No huddle, no huddle, no huddle. No huddle, no huddle, no huddle. Same exact play, same exact play. I don't need to. Get trucked. No huddle, no huddle, no huddle. No huddle, no huddle, no huddle. Still going with it. We don't care. Wear them out. We're going to keep going. Come on, dude. Why? Holy frick. Why is he so slow? No. He makes it to the six yard line. <laughs> Gains around two yards there on the option. And that was the freshman corner that got in there and made that tackle. We're at play number nine of this current drive. They 
up the middle for a nice run. Why do my quarterbacks do this? To walk in, maybe. I'm not silly head, Emily. How dare you hurt my feelings like that? care what they do as long as they don't freaking score a touchdown it don't even matter You're asking me. Oh my god. He's looking for six. He's picked it off. This time it's the safety. Let's go. Steagle. To go. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. This man just out here flinging it up in the air like he's something. Bro, right, we're going with the shot. First down, ten to go. Ball in the twenty. We're going with the shot. Wants to go long and uh my guy, yes, it's weak duty arm power, he couldn't hit it. Whatever. <coughs> Louis on fire. Make 
takes it to the 41. So it's second down and about <coughs> This wide receiver is very frustrating. You can tell by his body length. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. You're right about that, Kurt. Good job, Odom. Good job falling forward. That's what we want to see. See Odom. Fall forward, hang on to the ball. They'll bring him down around the forty six yard line. I had so many people wide open. <laughs> I was waiting for the wheel out for some stupid reason. Fans need to put the lineman reading it. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, that should have been picked. Oh my goodness, I got lucky. I was third and four on the bench. That was my bad. Was bad play call. It's 
It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. In the Green City, Cincinnati taking the field. And for Houston, they strike through the air and reach the end zone for a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Phillips fields it at the two. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's get out of the field and find out. Sorry, I'm sending a fancy football thing. My goodness, this running back is beasting on me. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. Nichols, why do you just sit there and watch the dude? Why did my guy sit there and watch the guy catch it? Ish. They come out of an empty backfield. Under pressure. Fired back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. From the 50, it's second down. Dang, man. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. What in the world? So, if I put option to focus on the running back, everyone runs after the running back. It hurts. It's smacked. Only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. Oh, 
Oh my god, he's gonna walk in! Oh my god! Sorry for the best. To the fourth we go. Here we go. It's taking this little by little. Mark is trying to pull off the upset over UCF. Up 17-10 in the second half. Oh, 
That should be a pick, dude. That should be a pick. I just don't understand. Like, man. That wasn't even a close. Go, baby. to do man Both teams that when the ball and gaffed me the last couple drives we're gonna blitz this time tackle him and he's taken down here we go Someone get out there, dude. Oh my god, we're so slow. Change to Williams, he's moving in mud, dude. What in the world? That was a magnet! I just Oh my goodness! I want to see a replay. Bro, I, I did not, I did not, I did not run at this guy. Oh my goodness! I was a magnet. I went straight. I couldn't. That's frustrating, man. I'm about to run it now. Tackle him. <laughs> Thank you. It's two yards every time. Dropped it. Haha, <laughs> you're tired. You got lucky. He dropped it. Oh my goodness, two drops. <laughs> two drops in a row. Alright, here we go. I don't even have guys that block sometimes, dude. <laughs> it's like my offensive line, I just don't feel like blocking sometimes. It's like Bowie is uh, injured. Hang on to the ball, Odom. Hang on to the ball.
from the 49-yard line. It's first down. Throw. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. Let's see where Boogie's at real quick. Oh, can't look at the injury report. Okie dokie. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Less than three minutes in the game. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 10-yard line. Odom down to the 10-yard line. Her lineman got past the line of scrimmage and sprung him out. Odom in for the touchdown. He splits the upright. All right. Big game from Odom. Looks like Bowie might be hurt. Update on UCF. Versus VMI, number 12, UCF. Sanders, from the three. It looks like Gets to about the VMI is up 24 to 10. This is a big for the conference title implications. There are three teams tied for first right now. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He it all. Oh, Mobley! Did he get his foot in? What a ball hawk. Did he keep a foot in? Let's see. Oh, yeah, boy. Mobley. Playing that deep coverage. Oh yeah. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass. Uh, I'll knock UCF out then, huh? I just have to not fumble the ball. Yeah, if I get a first down, I win. Everything is super slow right now. Charlie Strong coaching UCF or USF first year. I don't think he did very good in real life. Everything is slow. That's all she wrote, boys and girls. Kirk wants me to go for a play action pass when I'm up. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirty eight yard line. Makes it out to about the twenty nine. They go with a run and that'll be a gain of nine. South Florida will take their final timeout.
a little over a minute in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Odom with 148 yards on the ground. Ball on the 25. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. That's what you call a GG. <clears throat> Look at the game stats for a skedaddle. So we had 416 yards, 54 rushes, 351 yards. They had 22 carries for 201 yards. So they ran it better than us, but they had two interceptions. They threw it too much. We held the ball way longer than them. That's the only way we're going to beat them. They are driving on us like crazy. Player stats. Mr. Wolf, 65 yards. Gave it, got sacked once. Couldn't hit anything. Bowie with 161 yards and Odom with 148 yards. So, two touchdowns. Big game from the senior coming in, stepping in for the freshman. Not sure the status update on Bowie, but he was out from like halfway to the third quarter on. Bowie had three catches, nothing really passing. We know that. Stigall, one interception, three yards in the end zone. Mobley got an interception too towards the end of the game. Uh, other than that, I don't I think we had a couple sacks, yeah. Lucas Smith and Scott both had a sack. But other than that, not really too much else going on. They're doing pretty well on us, rushing the ball. But that is it for week, game number 10. We are one more game away from being bowl eligible. UC, VMI has just scored on UCF to make it 31-17. to that game has to be winding down. Sixty-five yards passing. What a joke! <laughs> oh. Five and five on the year. We'll do a little. This will be a bonus week uh, thirteen recap. Twelve week twelve recap. Campbell, uh, we got destroyed by Butler. It was pretty depressing. 
You know, when you can't throw the ball, that's all. That was Butler's entire game plan was to not let me run the ball, and we could not. We ran it for 35 yards, and we could not pass it. So that's basically how the game went. One interception, 3 out of 12 on third down. Nothing we could really do. Lancaster with two touchdowns. They didn't run the ball very much either. But they hit a couple passes. Judge for a yard touchdown. Powell got a sack. Greedy got a pick on me. <laughs> Wolf, 8 for 20, 52 yards in this game. So another 50 yard game for him. Bowie had 56 yards rushing. Couldn't get it going. Wolf got sacked. Sadness all around. Bowling, 40 yards catching, receiving, whatever the word is. It's a game I do not like to relive. Nothing on defense, basically. That's how I went. VMI with the win over Houston. I think VMI had the ball for at least like 28 minutes, right? 28 minutes out of uh, 32. So, wow. Houston, uh, they did not do very well. At 71 yards of offense, they ran it twice for one yard. VMI 60 carries, 250 yards, good passing. 50 times better passing than the Campbell Camels. Whitehead and Noble both 100 yards. Barber didn't do much, had a touchdown, but he ain't getting any carries. Whitehead's their workhorse. Any sacks? No sacks, but we got a <coughs> interception from Ham. <coughs> oh man! But yeah, and finally. Cincinnati at Dayton. Cincinnati came in. They were like one and six to start the year. They have, one, I think, one two in a row over Dayton and uh, VMI. So Cincinnati is a sneaky little team. Dayton falls two and seven, one and five in conference. A lot of yards given up. Uh, one interception for Dayton. It just looks like Dayton couldn't stop Cincinnati. Cincinnati balance attack, 330 yards passing with 100 yards rushing. You wonder how this team is 3-6 when they're playing like that. Bardo had a good game, actually. Police percentage is kind of low, but it was a pretty good game. Uh, looks like he might have got sacked a couple times. Big game from Hunter and Pal Palin. Two touchdowns. Three sacks by that one guy giving up. Two sacks. For uh, Dunn, for Dayton, and a sack for Sword. I don't think they got any turnovers, but they got some tackles for loss. So this defense made plays, just not enough, I guess, to beat Cincinnati. We'll go conference standings. Memphis, it's the top of conference, five, six, and one. Butler, five and one. UCF's 4-2, still hanging in there. Cincinnati, 3-3. Three and three. VMI, 3-3. Three and three. We are 4-3. and three. Uh, Man, I'm yawning. Houston, 3-4. USF, 2-5. Dayton, 1-5. Temple, 1-5. Houston was ranked at the beginning of the year. They have kind of uh, fallen off here lately. I think they're three and zero, and they're ranked. From what I remember, but that's how the conference. So Butler has a good chance to win the conference in their first year at the FBS level. We're gonna have to kick them out of the conference probably, and uh, let them play somewhere else. They're just too good, I guess. <laughs> Jalen Hurts still atop. ETN and Dobbins kind of flip flop looks like. Hurts, Thompson from Texas Tech still carrying out here. Bellamy still carrying for Western Michigan. Championship contenders. Let's see, this will show us our rankings. <coughs> so, Dayton 125. That hurts. 
Where's VMI at? 81. Respectable, respectable. Campbell, 75. Respectable, respectable. You know, in the top 100. Butler, 31. Man, look at them. They're getting up here. Man, if they beat Memphis, they'll be ranked. Hmm. I guess we'll have to see what happens. I don't know why I'm looking at award finalists. We have no one in here. So, no one cares. Players of the week of last week. Man, Texas Tech has a Heisman. They got a guy winning player of the week. They must be having a decent year. Jawan Washington. 27 carries, 203 yards, 4 touchdowns to win over Hawaii. The American Conference. Elijah Ponder, 3 sacks against Dayton. Kenneth Gainwell in Memphis. Had 2 touchdowns and some all-purpose all yards. Decent, decent. Bowl projections. We got anybody projected. Let's see. Oh, I went way too fast. Sorry. Butler in the Poinsettia Bowl at San Diego State. That'd be interesting. They're looking for a BCS berth, though. Appalachian State up there. Louisiana Tech. Miami, Houston. Really, they're projecting Houston to make a bowl. I don't know about that. They ain't predicting Campbell to make a bowl. It's tough out here in the streets. Uh, BCS rankings. We'll look at this. Ohio State, Florida. SMU. Number three team in the nation. They came through and whooped up on me and... They destroyed me. Actually, that was a sim game. They had no, do not have a very strong schedule, to be honest. They beat TCU and Texas Tech. They might. They look like they'll go undefeated, to be honest. Kent State and Houston. That's surprising. They're, they jumped up after beating Tulsa. The, wow. This is the first time I've seen that, so I don't know. I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> we got the coaches poll. Is Butler getting any points? Butler, there they are getting votes. SMU number three in the nation getting one. Let's see, Florida has. Can Florida? They're not going to lose the FCS Southeast. They could lose to Florida State, and they got the SEC Championship. Could SMU rise into the National Championship? Ohio State has Michigan, number four. I bet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Indiana, they're playing Indiana. Well, SMU, we kicked them out of the American Conference. Will they win? Guess we'll see. Anyways, guys, that'll be it for me. I'll uh, catch you guys next time in our next game we play.